Hi everyone, I'm Gio. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Gio Zavaya How To. If you found my videos helpful, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. In my previous video, Deploying Avaya System Manager OVA, I informed you that you needed to add your Session Manager IP address and hostname to your System Manager host file. Today I'm going to show you what happens if you don't. I'm in the Session Manager dashboard of my System Manager and as you can see my first Session Manager security module is down. If we look at my replication status, you will see that it's not synchronized and it's not polling. To fix this, you have to add your Session Manager management IP address, not the security module IP address, to the System Manager's host file. In my previous video, I stated that you needed root access to modify the host file and I want to correct myself. In 7.1 of Avaya removed root access but they also created scripts that allow you to do certain functions like modify the host file. I have logged on to my system manager via CLI and I have displayed my system manager's host file and as you can see my session manager 1 IP address and host file is not there. The scripts to modify our system manager host file are located in the root forward slash op forward slash avaya with a capital A forward slash VSP directory and you have to be in this directory to be able to run the scripts. To add our session manager management IP and hostname we are going to use the set hostfile.sh script. Type dot forward slash set hostfile.sh and hit enter. Then it's going to ask you for your admin password. After you enter your password, System Manager is going to display the command options. To add our Session Manager management IP address, we are going to type the following command. Edit host, quotation mark, minus capital A for add, the IP address of your Session Manager, space, the fully qualified domain name of your Session Manager, space, and the short host name. And then close the command by adding another quotation mark then hit enter. As you can see, our IP address and host names were successfully added to our system manager host file. Next, I'm going to type cat space forward slash etc forward slash host, then hit enter. And as you can see, our new session manager IP address was successfully added. As soon as I added my session manager IP address and host name to system manager's host file, my session manager security module came up. Let me check the replication status. My replication is still stating that it's not polling, so I'm going to log into my session manager via CLI. I logged in to my session manager via CLI and it's currently telling me that the session manager is in maintenance mode even though my session manager dashboard is displaying otherwise so definitely out of sync so in order to sync my session manager I'm gonna go back to the CLI and I'm going to type INET capital DRS this will start the data replication service the data replication process has finished in CLI mode now I'm going to check system manager in system manager the data replication is still repairing itself this sometimes takes a while I've seen it take as long as uh, 10 minutes to as long as uh, 30 minutes. So we'll give it some time to finish. Our session manager is now synced with our system manager. Now I'm going to change the state of my session manager to accept new service. I'm going to confirm, then I'm going to hit refresh. Both my session managers are now active and ready to accept new SIP registrations. This completes our tutorial. Today we used our host file editor and system manager to add our session manager IP and host name to system manager's host file. This fixed our session manager security module and data replication problem. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos.